And today's episode of Buzzword Bingo. Hey, I'm GT Hill. <laughs> hey, I'm Marcus Burton. Oh, it's always good to see you, especially with the new shaven face compared to about two hours ago. I, Just uh, for you, man. All for you. It's for it. It's for the audience because you know I like the extra growth. <laughs> it's, it's really for my wife. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of, speaking of buzzwords, why are we here? Right? That's what we're supposed to be doing here. Marcus <laughs> is telling people why we're here. Uh, so, so probably the titles of a lot of these videos have a lot of buzzwords in them. Part of the reason for this intro is to let you guys know our approach. So our approach is, um, we think there's kind of like, you know, engineering over here, sales and marketing over here. So when you hear an engineering person speak, they're really, really smart and, and they, you know, talk very technical. And for some of you, that's good. When you hear marketing, that's good, but we're going to try to stay right in the middle, keep this technical, but keep it fun. Um, but also make it approachable. Uh, fortunately for you, Marcus and I, neither of us are PhDs, um, but we do know some. Yeah. Oh, man, we've got some really good ones uh, here at Extreme. But I actually, you know, it's funny talking about videos that are approachable that are, like don't sort of go towards either Extreme. But um, I thought, you know, to some extent, you can just put these super smart guys in front of a camera. And, and you know, if you do it in a in a intelligent way, you'll get across some some real deep value but man you get phds going and they just start using words that no one understands and before you know it it's like it's over everyone's head and uh so we, we started recording a video and we kind of had to dial it back and and kind of rethink what we're going to do and come at this content a little bit differently because there's a lot of gaps to fill on some of these topics microservices containers kubernetes data pipelines and uh, so that's kind of our intention here. So, you know, to make it appealing to the average guy, I went to the average guy I know, GT. You know, you just gave someone a bingo with one sentence back there. That was... Uh, I know, I tried. <laughs> that was quite nice. Yeah, I remember seeing that video. Thanks for calling me averagist, by the way. You're also yeah, a good gra You're a good grammar -erist. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I remember seeing that video. And I, I was... I mean, dude, you and I go way back, man, probably close to 15 years. And I was like, hey, Marcus, that's a good video but I don't get it, right? I didn't understand yeah. a good portion of that. And I feel like if I don't understand it, that you know, there's a portion of the audience that may not either. So we kind of regrouped and decided we're gonna yep. do some videos with, with kind of a, an approach, you know, Marcus called me averages, but really I like to tell stories. Marcus is very tech, uh, very smart in the detail. I like to, to turn detail into a story. And I started doing that kind of early on as a trainer. I think that's when we met also is well, I was doing some training and you were new to CWNP? Yeah, cuz you were a you were an early CWNE I think and I was uh, I came in a little later. I was like 78, I think. So I don't know if that's right, but it's somewhere around there. But yeah, I was working at CWNP writing um, exams and, you know, learning all the technical details which are just which are great for me. But, you know, I think it was it was both at CWNP watching you as a trainer but also, even when we worked together at Ruckus, which I started in 2012, you were a little before me at Ruckus. Yeah, 2010. But yeah, I th I th 2010, okay, yeah. So I, I remember seeing you take technical concept, concepts, RF technologies and other things like that, and interpreting them in a way that, you know, realistically, it's not because you're, you're the averagest guy, but because <laughs> you just have a, a great way of taking those things and distilling them down to make them accessible. So you and I collaborate well in that sense. Yeah, I, I felt like we, we did some good things there. Uh, unfortunately, we parted ways a little bit. I went to a yeah. cloud company dealing with network analytics, which fortunately, kind of looking back, was really great experience. You know, instead of talking RF, I was talking cloud and, and learned a little bit there. Uh, cloud yeah. and MI and MI? M I? That's a new one. <laughs> Machine learning <laughs> and uh, AI. We'll just call it MI from now on. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to shorten that anyway. Uh, but really taking those those buzzwords and, and hopefully turning them into a story. Um, yeah. But I left and, and you, man, rose the ranks and at Ruckus. Yeah, it was a good, I had a good experience there where after I started in tech, tech marketing, uh, tech, mar yeah, tech marketing, <laughs> and uh, I went to product management and worked on, you know, different products, worked with engineering teams, worked on, you know, building new software. So I learned a lot more about software architecture, learned about cloud and analytics through that path. So it was just kind of, again, I think both of us starting from a domain perspective and moving into sort of these parallel and peripheral domains so that you start to bridge skill gaps 
which is something that, you know, for me, at least when I look across the content that's on the internet, there's not a whole lot out there that's bridging these domain gaps. There's software people talking about software things and there's network people talking about network things, but not a lot of people that bridge the gap between the two worlds. Yeah, I mean, that's our goal here. Uh, I mean, that's the both you and I uh, left our respective companies that we were at and we ended up with extreme within a few months of each other. And um, I think it's just uh, kismet, it's fate that we ended up being able to work on a yeah. project together. And uh, I'm excited about it. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I remember you showed me your data pipeline slide, which is very Marcus. It's very technical and correct and accurate. And I looked at it and I was just like, man, I just got the sweats. I was really, you know, kind of overwhelmed <laughs> by it. But I'm, I'm really excited about breaking that down. And hopefully I'll have, I know I'll have a better understanding and hopefully our audience does too about, <clears throat> you know, all these different technologies that you buzzworded and I buzzworded and uh, hopefully we put some substance to behind them that is in, yeah. that hopefully is in a format that, that you guys can consume. If you guys like white papers, you should probably do that. Uh, but but if, you're, if you're here, we appreciate you being here and uh, I'm ready. So microservices first, right? It is. That's what's on our list. We'll see if that's what actually happens. But but yeah, microservices <laughs> is the next video. Uh, hopefully you guys cool. can click on that right now if you don't have uh, too much of us. But uh, I'm excited. Marcus, again, third time around. Enjoy working with yeah. you. Let's keep it up. Likewise, man. Yeah. All right. Looking Thanks, forward everybody. to it.